Antiques. It is January the 31st, right around uh, 5 34 p.m. in the afternoon, early evening. Welcome to our Facebook Live auction preview. We're going to walk through the building here, highlight some lots for you guys for the upcoming February 2nd auction. Our next auction, if you don't know, online auction. It's February the 2nd, starts at 10 a.m. here in Chesterfield. 10 a.m. start time here in Chesterfield. Lots start closing. It's online only sale, online only. You can bid online at sunrise-antiques.highbid.com forward slash auctions. That's our, um, our bidding platform. Or you just go to the, uh, the website sunrise-antiques.com or the Facebook page and you click into the... Uh, to the online auction. About 1,450 lots I believe we have in this auction. There are also uh, utility trailers in here that are off-site. Yeah, if you had want to look at those, uh, you still have a little bit of time. We can uh, give you the address and link you up with the seller down there. They're in Fork and River. Uh, there's also a fair amount of guns. I will have those laid out for you. The guns will be laid out uh, on Thursday for the preview. So the live preview in this building is Thursday. This Thursday, which is tomorrow, from 3 to 7 p.m. We're at 79 Old York Road, Chesterfield, New Jersey, 08515. That's our address. That's the, the pickup location. That's uh, that's where we are. That's our physical location. All right. So I want to take you through the building here, the, the middle building, uh, the, the, the front building, the middle area, the pavilion area, and then the back pole barn, and show you uh, uh, most of the lots in here. We'll walk the tables. If you have any questions, um, just put them in the comments. I'll try to answer for you. If you don't have any questions, don't ask. All right, so uh, we have a lot of uh, decent primitives in here for you guys. Some furniture, like that half moon table right there, little chair right there. And we're just going to walk you through here, kind of just flagging some items that may be of interest to you. Our next auction after this, by the way, is... March the 1st. So if you want to drop off of that, um, you better, uh, well, if you want to, let us know uh, sooner than later because uh, we're doing a fairly large clean out of an antique store down in Tom's River right now. It's going to take a lot of space up. So if you want to have spa space in the next sale, uh, either bring it when you pick up or the following Monday or that week for that matter. Nice Coca-Cola uh, sign right there. Got to show you the building, but I will show you the whole building right now. Jen, you give a panoramic show, view of what's in here. And as you can see, it's fully stacked as usual. Lots of really neat things in here. This little bottle lot right there. It's like a shell right there. I'll walk you down, walk you up, show you all these lots. You got baseball memorabilia. Once again, we have some utility trailers in here the first part of the auction, as well as guns. We have firearms in this sale uh, and a little bit of ammunition. If you do want to sell guns with us, let us know. We're always taking in guns for gun-only auctions. And we will certainly accommodate you if you want to sell your firearms through us. Yes, we are firearms dealers, and we do it legally. We take them in, log them in our book, and we sell them and settle up with you at the end. We do coins as well. Just had a nice coin auction on January the 19th, if you didn't see it. I think we have that video posted out there on Facebook somewhere. Coins do well. Silver does well. Gold. Whatever you want to sell, we'll sell for you. As long as it meets some online standards to, to put it online. Uh, we'll be starting back up in Heightstown as well. There's knives right here. They're kind of neat. We'll be starting up in Heightstown early March, actually after daylight savings time. We'll be starting up there. You got some good artwork back there, it looks like. Some horses and some other stuff. Tables are full. Got some Victorian glass. If you like that, records. Didn't look at the records. We do have a live preview tomorrow in here. Didn't mention that. Maybe I didn't mention that. We have a live preview in here tomorrow. That's a nice piece of green glass right there. If you can see that, really nice. We'll have a live preview from 3 to 7 p.m. in the auction hall here. You can come in. You can look at the stuff. 
You can ask questions. You can leave bids, whatever you want to do. If you're a new bidder, as you can see in that lot right there, that's lot 133. That uh, corresponds to the catalog where it is in the auction. You have some problems sometimes with the sticker staying on when the weather's weird. But uh, everything should have a sticker on it. If not, we can definitely tell you what the lot number is if you're interested in something, something. You can bid as the auction closes, or you can put in a proxy bid. Proxy bid, uh, basically the system bids for you. It will bid up to your highest bid. It will not bid your highest bid unless somebody bids more than you, and it will continue, the system will continue to bid for you. The increments are set ahead of time. They don't change. And you can do a proxy bid, or you can bid as the lot's closed during the auction itself. Whatever works for you. Oh, I wanted to show you these license plate. Oh, Laurel and Hardy first. Those guys are cool. Look at them. That's Laurel and Hardy having fun. Nice license plates there, jersey plates, as you can see right there. Let me turn you around here. I think I showed you the blue piece, the blue piece right there, chest of drawers, and you got that nice primitive piece right there. You got that guy right there. Costume jewelry. A lot of the jewelry's in the back. This is all costume right here. A lot of the jewelry's in the back. That's neat right there, that wagon. It's a dolly. Kids' wagon, military, signs. More pocket knives. You got a fireman's hat right there, more pocket knives. Artwork. Didn't look at the book. Sometimes there's some neat ones come through. Playing cards right there, sports cards. More costume jewelry, more costume. Legos, coin lots, as you can see here, gentleman marked all his coins up before he brought them in. There's military in there, right there, that tank scope, if you can see it, if you like military. I think these are pool cues right here. Let me look. That's what they look like. Yep. Pool cues. More coins. More coins. Foreign money. And paper lots. There's more jewelry in here. Copper. Cast mm -hmm. iron. There's just a heck of a lot. Looks like we got some Pyrex for you. There's the books again. Let me walk you up this row. There's more pocket knives right there. There's some neat ones in some of these boxes. You got to go through them and look at them. Once again, the uh, there's cast iron right there. 314. There's that wagon again. Got the dually wheels on it. Bathtub right there. Let me take you around here. A little, little cart right there. He's cool. You got the, the pedal car, the fire engine right there. More costume jewelry. Pipes. There's some bottle lots. Once again, we just uh, started a... That's a nice paper lot right there. Bottle lots. There's uh, milk bottles. We've got a bunch of milk bottles in the back too. You got to look at them to see if they're local or not. It's a neat little piece right there, a planner. The knife box right there, Waterford. There's Waterford if you like it. More Waterford right there. Another little uh, advertising box, a honer box right there for harmonicas. We just started a, uh, a major clean out of an antique store down at Tom's River. It's gonna be a, a whole heck of a lot of neat stuff coming in here in the next couple, two, three months. I'd encourage you if you wanna sell through us that you drop earlier so you, you get a spot. If not, we're gonna be full quick. All I can tell you, that's a Yadra right there. Stained glass. You make the turn here. You got this corner is full of stuff over here. Desk right there. You got the artwork on the walls. Looks like you got a cranberry scoop right there. Got some jerseys over there. Some artwork. The preview, once again, is tomorrow from 3 to 7 p.m. You can come in, take a look at everything in here. If you see something that strikes your eye, everything's marked with a number on it. So you know what the lot number is, it corresponds to the catalog. That's really neat right there. 
the pictures in there, little stand. I think that's really cool. Looks Victorian. Valentine's Day coming up right there. Looks like Fiesta wear. Nice little clock right there. Looks like an Indian rug or something right there. And we keep going up here. Slot machine, whatever that is there. Bottle lots. Check him out. He was holding something or needs maybe still holding it right there. That's 416 sitting right there. That is a Hummel right there. It is marked up. Advertising piece, I guess, for the store. You got some perfumes in here. T-shirts. I don't know. I see new things every time I walk through. We do try to take as many pictures as we can from a different angles we can. So uh, you have as many views as possible. There's a nice little baseball lot right there. Once again, our address is 79 Old York Road in Chesterfield. 79 Old York Road in Chesterfield. That's where this auction is physically located. There's some rugs right there. That's where the pickup is. Oh, the pickup. The pickup is Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can register to uh, in the scheduler for a time, and we will try to have your lots ready when you come. Check this out. This is a salesman sampler coffin. I just think it's the neatest little thing. We got a lamp right there, little head. It's heavy too, by that, that sampler. Baseball lots right here. I think some of these balls and these, these items are signed up. Didn't really look at these myself too good. But you can take a look at them when you come in tomorrow, if you come in tomorrow. You got more artwork on the wall right there. Books. Here's the, uh, some of the sports memorabilia right here. There's a lot 642. It's like a Bose radio. There's another sports lot right there, 640. And this guy is just so really cool right here. That's 562, that guy standing right there. He's about five feet tall. He looks happy, don't he? Should be. He's in the auction tomorrow. Or Friday, Saturday, or Friday, I mean. More sports stuff. More sports stuff. Lighting right here. Looks like you got a bird right there getting ready to fly away. Comic lots. This is a neat face right here. All right, so this is what it looks like looking in as you come in the building. As you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty stacked for you. Let me take you out in the, uh, the middle area here, and I'll take you in the pole barn. Let's take a look in the middle here. It's kind of dark out here, but you can still get an idea of what's out here. A little bit of furniture. A lot of neat little lots mixed in here. We have some signs out there. There's two. I'll see if I can get it from the other side. There's two. Lawn jockeys out there. There's a coat piece, a coat machine, uh, or not a uh, coat rack. It says Coca Cola. Got the advertising on it. More advertising for you. Some chairs right there. There's a little bit of furniture out here. There's a little bit of everything out here. There's a little, looks like an oak, oak, oak ice box, which it looks like right there to me. And now we come to the pole barn. As you can see, pole barn's got a little bit of stuff in it as well. And I want to show you. Let me see if I can see those lawn jockeys from here. The other side here. Light should come on. Let me get dark for a second. Light should come on here in a second. There they are. Lawn jockeys are right here. Let me walk up to them so you can see them better. Yep. The lawn jockeys right there. Kind of hard to see because it's dark out here right now. I should have done this a little bit earlier. Got these signs right here. Railroad signs. Montclair. Take you back in the, in the pole barn. Those are neat. Got a little bit of furniture in here for you. Right here, a little bit of furniture. Nice little trunk right here. Got the wicker set. Nice little trunk right there. Let's walk you up here. Walk you up and down, make it easier. There's a lot of nice photos in here, black and whites. Glassware. 
Some really good box lots made up in here for you. A lot of neat textiles, quilts, as you can see right here. Right in there. More textiles. There's a neat little picture right there with uh, Humphrey Bogart. More textiles right here. It looks like you have some, uh, right there you have some milk glass. I'm gonna take you up here and look at the showcases real quick. Walk back down. These are all set up and ready to go. There's a lot of jewelry in here. It's all online. Should be some gold and there's silver in there. There's a nice set of flatware in here. Sterling. Some really nice lots in here. So check, check them out online if you like the, the gold and the silver and, the, and all the jewelry. It's in the showcase right there. Come in and take a look at it tomorrow if you want. More neat lots right in here. Good little box lots. They're all made up. Some really neat stuff. Bottle lot right there. Paper lots. Toys. Looks like a fishing lot right there for you. I don't know if this is the Sterling lot right here or not. It's nickel silver. That's what it says right there. It's a flatware set. That's not the Sterling I'm talking about. That's a, another set of flatware. You got the little Christmas lot right there. Here's some of the pictures. Black and whites if you like those. They're really neat. Postcards. Hess trucks right there, as you can see. Dish sets, dish lots. A lot of baseball stuff this time, sports stuff. Looks like perfume bottles. Looks like you got some neat insulators in there. We had insulators outside too, it was too dark to show you. Disney. Got some mason jars, some really nice bottle lots in here that came in. More pocket knives. More toys. One of the canners right there. Uh, yes, I don't want the canners. There's another paper lot right here. Photo lot. I like this right here. You need a key. There they are right there. Sad irons. Fair amount of decoys from a local lady here. She's been making them. I'll show you some of those in a second. You got those lights right there. More bottle lots. Many, many bottle lots. If you like bottles, there might be something in there for you. Costume jewelry. And we got all these milk bottles. I'll show you right here. They're in this box right here. I didn't take any of them out. Hopefully they, they photograph them. They photograph them for you guys. Milk bottles. A bunch of them in there. Yeah, right there. Heights down. It's a local bottle. Not far from here, obviously. Got all the Griswold right here. They are Griswold. Advertising boxes right there. There's actually a milk box right there. Here's some of the decoys right here. You got all these pants. Most of these are Griswold. They're mixed in there. Not all of them are Griswold, but some, some of them are right here. I can show you. Not that one, that's the one that's not. Here's This is Griswold right here. There's a Griswold, that pile. I think that has one in it. That has two. That, those are just standard cast iron. More to Ducks, more to Geek Toys right there. Pretty sure she marked all these up. That one's signed. This is signed. See it right there? Most of them are signed up. Decoys, some neat ones in there if you like decoys. Marble lot right there. This lot starts closing at 10 o'clock. Bottle lots at 10 o'clock on Friday. Okay? You can oh, you can pre-bid obviously right now. That's a neat little lot right there, the soap lot. More decoys. You can pre-bid right now. Pre-bidding is ongoing. Right now, people are actually bidding on a lot of these lots right now, but the actual auction itself, the actual auction itself will take place on Friday. The lots start closing at 10 a.m. They close every 12 seconds, unless someone bids. If someone bids, it's going to extend that lot for, um, for another minute. The other lots will continue to close, so you have to pay attention. They will continue to close. somebody bids, it will extend it for a minute. Once people stop bidding, it will stop. You can watch all your lots. There's a way to do it with the software. 
and you shouldn't lose a bid. Now, like I said, you can do a proxy bid. These gauges right here. You can do a proxy bid, furniture, and the system will bid for you on your behalf up to your maximum bid. It will not take you to your maximum bid. If someone has a bid before you, a $50 bid, and you bid $50, that's a tie bid. You can have a tie bid, unfortunately, online. The person who has the first bid in wins. That's the way the system takes care of a tie bid. In a real auction, a live auction, the auctioneer will ask a person to bid again. They can't have a tie bid that way. And it's a limitation of doing stuff online. I'm going to get this right here. It's an open little box right there. More bottles. It's an old school right here. Antique shaving mirror. It's a real antique. We still get antiques through here. Some really good ones. And there's one right there if you like antiques. More box lots, toys. Nice little metal lot right there. Lamps, lighting. Carnival glass in here. Once again, our... Uh, our address is 79 Old York Road in Chesterfield. Pickup is Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4. Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4. We are local pickup except for guns. That's a nice kettle pot right there. What do you call it? Candy kettle or whatever. It's copper. If you're out of state and you want to bid, we're not going to discourage you from bid, but you do need to call the UPS store. If the UPS store over in Bordentown if they accept you, uh, to, they accept that uh, to pick up your stuff. We will release the items to them, take them over there for you. Otherwise, we're no ship auction except for guns. That's in the terms. You should be able to read that on the site right there. There's some really neat lots right here. You got all these uh, pieces of pottery, block planes. You got that winder, yard winder right there. And you got all the Christmas lots right here. Flintstones. You got stuff over here on the walls, artwork. Here's the pole barn from the from the back to the front. Many, many cool lots in here. Our next auction after this is March the 1st. And then I'll put out the, the next quarter after the March auction or before, shortly before. Now, like I said before, we do have an auction. Um, we start our auctions back up in Heightstown. Most likely after daylight savings type time changes, I will post that in short order. Those are our live only auctions. We will run live auctions in here again too, coupled with the internet in the future. Guns for sure. If you got guns, let us know. We'll sell them for you. Always selling guns. You got that little, look at that right there, that butter churn right there. Neat. Some really cool stuff in here. Got the fishing stuff, the, the the reels right there. You can see them. More Christmas lots. Got another big shaving mirror. Dresser piece right there. More cast iron. Those don't look like Griswolds. Those look like you're standing. It is marked up. I can't see it because I'm blind. But anyway, it's on there. You guys can look at it tomorrow. 3 to 7, by the way, 3 to 7, 3 to 7 p.m. We'll be in here tomorrow for you. There's that shaving mirror again. Another advertising box. We'll be here from 3 to 7 for you guys tomorrow. More decoys. Let's see if these are marked up. These are decoys. That one's signed right there. You can see it. That one's not. Baseball lots, postcards. That's a matchbox cars right there. So here we go. There's the pole barn right there for your view and pleasure. Let me take you back up and I'll give you the, back up into the front there. I'll give you the final coordinates. And you'll know everything you need to know about this auction. This is the pavilion. It's dark out right now. So it's just kind of hard to see some of the stuff. We will be here from 3 to 7, though, for you. I forgot to show you the trunk right there. It's kind of dark. Take you back inside. Got a dress form right there. Right there. Got all this stuff right here stacked up. I'll take you back in here. Back in the main building. Okay. We're back in the main building right here. Our address is 79 Old York Road, Chesterfield, New Jersey. 79 
Old York Road, Chesterfield, New Jersey, 08515. Our website is sunrise-antiques.com. The bidding platform where you can pre-bid right now is sunrise-antiques.highbid.com forward slash auctions. You can pre-bid, like I said. Pre-bidding is going on right now. Or you can bid live. You can bid live once the auction starts closing on Friday at 10 a.m. The pickup for our auction is Saturday or Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday or Sunday. We do have a schedule that we will send out. If you want to register for a pickup time, you certainly may. We will try to have your lots ready to go so you're not waiting in line when you get here. We do accept all forms of payment. If you pay with check or cash, the buyer's premium is 15%. All the forms of payment is 20%. A little bit of a rebate for paying with cash or check. Sunrise-antiques.highbid.com forward slash auctions. Check it out. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. We'll be here once again, 3 to 7 p.m. 3 to 7 p.m. You come in and take a look. You want to leave an absentee bid. If you're not a computer person, you can do that too. We'll take your absentee bid for you. We do that all the time. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We use those three platforms. If you want to, uh, if you want to see get ads that are um, not as ev invasive, you can just like our Facebook page, and because uh, we do send out a fair amount of email. And uh, if that's too much for you, just like the Facebook page and it just pops up. If you want to look at it, you can. If you don't want to look at it, don't. In any event, once again, 79 Old York Road, Chesterfield. Our phone number, 888-639-4443. That's also text enabled. If you ever want to send us uh, photos, um, we are always taking consignments. We will start taking consignments immediately after this auction closes. Please don't wait because we're going to fill up quick. Hope to see you guys tomorrow and good luck at the auction on Friday. Thanks for watching.